Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapy Ron, and today we are going to be going over all the overclocks for the Deep Core 40mm PGL, the grenade launcher for Engineer. We're going to be talking about each of them and the builds that I use with them. These may not be the most well-optimized builds, but the grenade launcher is a super fun weapon. So let's begin talking about each of these. We're going to be going over the clean overclocks first and then moving down to the unstable ones. So first up, we got Clean Sweep, and Clean Sweep just gives you more area damage and more area effect. You have a larger area when you shoot the grenade launcher. This one's just a straight upgrade to the grenade launcher, like a lot of the clean overclocks, and you can run it however you'd like. Usually I like running more ammo on the grenade launcher, so I'll usually take extra ammo in Tier 1, expanded ammo bags in Tier 2. In Tier 3, honestly, all of these are really good. Um, incinerary Compound deals good amount of damage per second over time and can work really well against crowds. The uh, pressure wave is really strong against anything like Praetorians, or if you want to shoot this at a guard, you can. And then the high velocity grenade just make it easier for you to hit your target. I usually go with that one because sometimes I will just be using the grenade launcher at ranges that I really probably shouldn't be using the grenade launcher at. In tier 4, I usually go with a larger AoE radius in nails and tape just so that I can make the most use out of this one. But any of these are fine too. Stunning an enemy is really good or just randomizing your damage you'll statistically get more damage. And then in tier 5, I usually go with the spiky grenade for this one just so that I can hit enemies directly, but proximity trigger can also work and same with the disabled inertia inhibitor. Honestly, I haven't used the inhibitor all that much, so I don't really know what the difference is between it because I know this one was recently added, um, but I have used proximity trigger and that one can be fun, but you could hurt yourself with it. You can get some interesting results with proximity trigger and that's why I usually don't use it because it kind of gives you those interesting results, whereas Sticky Grenade is more uh, reliable. This is the way that I usually build the grenade launcher, but you could build it. If you want to do more AoE damage, you could just build larger AoE and like larger area damage or more ammo. If you wanted to go for more damage, you could go with the HE compound as well as the larger payload and then go with something like Pressure Wave. Um, and then even go with homebrew powder if you want the most amount of damage that you can get out of this. So our next overclock is Pack Rat. This gives you two more ammo. And that's it. <laughs> that's really good. Usually with this one, I still might take extra ammo because having 14 rounds is really nice and getting 7 rounds every resupply is really nice. If you don't like that and you want more AoE or you want more damage, you do have options. You could always, of course, not go with uh, extra ammo at all and just go with more damage like we just explained. Or you could go with more AoE. Um, something like this could also work or something like that. Then we have compact ammo. This makes it so we get 5 more ammo, but we lose out on 10 area damage and we lose out on area of effect radius. This isn't too bad. I don't find that the area effect radius matters all that much, and I really like ammunition for this one, so I'll usually go with extra ammo here. 17 rounds is really nice to have with a grenade launcher, and that means you're going to be getting back 9 rounds every time that you resupply, since it will round up, I believe, so that's always nice to have. For this one, I usually go with the pressure wave just for extra armor breaking, although incendiary compound or the high velocity grenades works just fine. In tier 4, I'll usually go with the homebrew explosive. This just kind of evens out my damage, more or less. Um, yes, I can low roll, but I can also high roll here. And the grenade launcher is usually fine with killing anything. <laughs> Concussive blast also works really well with this because... Stunning enemies is always going to be useful. And then in tier 5, I usually go a sticky grenade, just because I find it the most consistent. Next balance overclock is the RJ250 compound. This makes it so we do less damage, we get more ammunition, but now we can use our grenade launcher more like a... Uh, we can rocket jump with it, more or less. So you can uh, blast yourself all across the place, which is actually really useful. It's really handy to have because... The engineer already has very low mobility. They probably have one of the lowest mobilities out of any class in the game. So being able to leap around the map is surprisingly handy. For this one, again, I usually go with more ammo just so that I can use it more often as a tool. I'm not really too concerned about using this as a weapon then. It still works perfectly fine as a weapon. And I will still take something like the pressure wave so that I can break armor. So if I do need to hit something big, I can at least break its armor and make it a little bit easier for myself and the team to kill that enemy. In tier 4, I'll usually go with the concussive blast just so that I can stun enemies. This just makes it easy if enemies start swarming me and I need to rocket jump my way out. And then this one, honestly, in the tier 5s, I don't know which one is the best for this. Spiky grenade works just fine. That's usually what I use because you can at least direct hit a Praetorian or something, but I imagine the disabled inertia inhibitor is also 
pretty good here. All right, now moving on to the unstable overclocks, we have the Fat Boy. Fat Boy gives us way more damage and a larger area radius, but we lose out on uh, ammo by a lot, and our projectiles are slower than they normally would be. This also has a very big AoE radius that lingers because it leaves a radiation field there that will deal damage to everything in it. So if you're standing in it, or if your teammates are standing in it, it can deal a lot of damage. This is also a really good one to run the perk friendly with. That way you're not killing your teammates as easily because you'll be inflicting less friendly fire damage on them. I usually go with the extra ammo here because I want to be using the grenade launcher as much as possible. And this just makes it a little bit easier for me to be using it. You don't necessarily need extra area damage. The extra AOE radius is fun to use, but again, I don't think it's really necessary. I find that the ammo is the best here. In tier two, again, I go with extra ammo. In tier three, honestly, all of these are fine. I usually go with the high velocity grenade so that my grenade will shoot at a normal speed um, or a bit faster speed than what it normally does so that it's a little bit easier for me to compensate for. But you could go with pressure wave if you really want to deal tons of damage to any sort of big enemy. Or you could go with incinerary compound if you want to use this even more as an AOE weapon. And I do like using that too. That is a lot of fun. In tier 4, I usually go with homebrew explosive because randomizing the damage is actually really fun. You can high roll and do tons of damage and kill pretty much an entire wave instantly. And then in tier 5, again, I usually go with sticky grenade. I would not recommend going with proximity trigger. As a lot of people pointed out, you can have some very interesting and bad results with proximity trigger because you do get an additional AOE radius, which is kind of nice, but it makes it a little bit easier for you to blow yourself up or blow up something that you didn't mean to. So that's why I usually stick with sticky grenade just because it's a little bit more consistent. I think that the disabled inertia field will also work just fine. And then our last overclock is the hyper propellant. This gives us way more direct damage. Uh, as well as we get a much faster moving projectile. We lose out on ammo, we lose out on AOE radius. This really turns the grenade launcher into more of a rail gun. So if you want to snipe things, which I really enjoy with this, then I usually run this one. For this, I definitely run extra ammo because I don't find the extra AOE radius to be helpful at all with this. We're mostly direct hitting enemies, so ammo is the best choice here. In tier 2, also ammo. Again, it's just the best choice. In tier 3, I like going with the pressure wave for having extra armor breaking. This makes it so you do tons of damage to anything like a Praetorian, a Dreadnought. In tier 4, I usually go with the homebrew explosive just so that I can randomize my damage and potentially one-shot enemies that I couldn't. Because I think with this, you can one-shot a Praetorian, at least if you high roll it. I could be wrong about that. You might get really close to killing it. And then in tier 5, I go with the Sticky Grenade. Because we're direct impacting enemies, we want to have more damage. So the Sticky Grenade makes the most sense here. So these are the builds that I use for the Grenade Launcher. The Grenade Launcher is super fun. Next time, we're going to be looking at the Breach Cutter, which should wrap up all of the builds for the Overclocks, at least that we have right now. There will be new weapons in the future, which uh, I plan on covering them when they come out. Thanks everybody for watching this. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new here and you like these videos, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I post any of them. Special thanks to the supporters of the channel. I really do appreciate all of you guys. These are my YouTube members as well as the Patreons. If you would like to be a part of that, there are links in the description below. If you'd like to see my other Deep Rock Galactic videos, be sure to click over here on this playlist. That'll take you to a list full of them. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.